Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Windsor. Yay. Home of Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> we've been here a few days and we've we've loved it because it's a nice place. It's very, very busy. Yes. When you saw us last time, we were just mooring up on the other field, just as you come into Windsor after the railway bridge on the left-hand side. And nice place, very, very busy with tourists and people walking past. But worse than that, it's just so shallow. Yeah. And we were like that against the mud yeah. on the banking. It, was, it wasn't like very that. nice. And because it's a very busy river with like double-decker tourist boats and little yellow motorised boats and... Rowing boats and... Paddle boards and, and the duck boat, which we'll show you in a little while. It was just the boat was just banging against the side. It wasn't yeah. a nice place. So when the mooring lady came to ask for the mooring fee, and they're very keen here in Windsor, just so you're aware. We hadn't even finished tying the ropes up. <laughs> and we asked, is there anywhere better? And she pointed us here. This is Bath's Island. It's a little island right opposite where we were. It's just a channel that links the kind of north and south end. And <laughs> it's beautiful, it's quiet. No motorised boats allowed on this channel. Listen. Unless you're mooring. It is half past four in the morning, but listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. We're right opposite the Sydney Cam Memorial, which is just over there. It's a full-size Hawker Hurricane jet aeroplane. I don't know. What do you call it? Fighter plane. <laughs> Flyy thing. Fighter plane. Yeah. And it's stunning when the sun's on it on the morning. It's stunning. I just want to get in it. Fly off somewhere. It's a replica. Barnsley or somewhere like that. <laughs> I could pick somewhere better than Barnsley. <laughs> Today we're off again. We're off to Runnymede. It always reminds me of some like like having the squits, doesn't it? <laughs> Runnymede. Don't uh, remind me. It's not far. It's about seven or eight miles away. A couple of hours cruise and we're going to get some water. I've got a load of washing to do because I bought a couple of new t-shirts while we were here. Yeah. So prepare for spinny things later while we're trying to talk to camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. Where's Otis? Oh. plan was to come about, what, about 500 yards from yes. where we were moored to a water point just by the road bridge. Uh, when we got here we noticed a motor cruiser that had been moored here overnight. Uh, so Sean very politely asked him to uh, just move on a little bit, which he did. He did, yes. Uh, but <laughs> then we found the water point was a bit of a faff. Faff? It's, it's like a drinking water tap for the people who use the slipway. Uh, but we, we managed to get there, didn't we? It's a good yeah. job we've got a box full of accessories to convert <laughs> it and we've filled up. It's taken us about half an hour. The reason we wanted to fill up is we want to do some washing before we get to the next slot where we can fill up again so we can keep the tank full. Uh, side note, by the way, that slipway is used by the, I don't know what they call it, it's like a, a bus on a duck. Isn't it? It's called duck tours, isn't it? Is that what it is? I think so. Uh, and basically you get on the bus in Windsor and it drives on the roads down to the river here, it drives down the slipway straight into the river and then takes you up and down the river. It's uh, so cool. And then it says because it just kind of comes out of the river again uh, and just drives out and, and drives off. Yes. It's amazing. Weird. It's a weird. <laughs> Done my head in. <laughs> You missed the Peak Forest Canal. If you could be there or here now, where would you be? Peak Forest? Yeah, I would. Yeah. Do you remember New Mills? And we went to see that uh, Tors Hydro. Yes. The big reverse Archimedes screw. And it's on the weir on the River Goit, and the water coming down the weir is diverted through it, and it produces electricity, which the co-op in the town buys and uses. 
sustainable energy. Yes. Well, we're just coming up to Romney Lock in Windsor, and the weir has got two of exactly the same thing. Uh, like a reverse Archimedes screw and it's exactly the same principle as the one in New Mills but there's two of them each one weighs 40 tons and there's a cable from them an 11,000 volt cable and it goes underneath the river up the hill that way to Windsor Castle and it powers it supplies Windsor Castle with electricity Wow! if it didn't there's enough to generate power for 600 houses that's a lot isn't it that's a lot or Windsor Castle is 600 houses big though. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Or two items in my secret cupboard. <laughs> speed limit around here is eight kilometers an hour which we're doing we, we check it out on our little GPS speed checker don't we yeah uh, but the very intimidating big cruisers like to push us along this one's trying to overtake us with the boat coming the other way boat coming the other way it's quite a narrow channel and now he's having to slow down which is quite funny to watch isn't it On our right side, our starboard side, is Home Park, part of the Windsor estate. It's huge. <laughs> it stretches all the way from as we come out of Windsor at Romney Lock, all the way down past a couple of bridges towards Albert Bridge, which we're just approaching. And you would think by looking at it that they're amazing moorings, but it's actually a criminal offence. <laughs> no mooring, no landing, no nothing. Uh, it borders Windsor Castle. It's a huge estate, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely it's massive. massive. And you can see the castle most of the way around. It's huge. It's built back in the 11th century to protect us from the Normans. Do you remember the like spat between William Waller and Charles I? I remember. The Battle of Cropredy and stuff like that. I remember. Well, it all came to a head here. They actually caught him. They caught Charles I. After how long? About 500 years? And they slung, him, they slung him in Windsor Castle, they imprisoned him in Windsor Castle, but he escaped. And when they caught him again, they sent him to the Isle of Wight. Yeah, try swimming off that one, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> so Windsor Castle is the longest occupied palace in Europe. The Queen still likes to come here for a weekend. Yeah. I prefer Brid, don't you? Scarborough. Yeah, you can get some nice chips and waffles with cream on it. Ooh. Well, I bet you can't get that in Windsor Castle. <laughs> He's woke up. <laughs> he does really well because he sleeps all the way through the night, like eight hours a night. And we get up in the morning, no mess, toilet training is going brilliantly, isn't it? <laughs> as soon as we take him out, he does everything. And then he has a mad hour after his breakfast and goes back to sleep for a couple of hours, which yeah. is good for us early cruising. But he's just woke up because it's his second feed time now. <laughs> he's hungry. On our left hand side, you notice that the river Weir bears off again and it actually meanders for a couple of miles so they built this new cut to shorten 
the trip for boats and it takes us up to the next lock. It's called Ham Island. That's it. Ham Island. Ham and cheese sandwich. Oh yes. <laughs> so we have that today. <laughs> and it's a bird sanctuary. Well, I know sewage works, but a bird sanctuary sounds nicer, doesn't it? It does. Is it time for your dinner? It is. Otis? Here's a kiss. Here's a kiss. Mm. Ah. <laughs> That was Old Windsor Lock, so we're kind of out of the Windsor Estate now. A uh, little island is called Friary Island and there's some lovely houses on our port side. Did you see that really nice one with the thatched, the three thatched little uh, conical, I nearly said comical, <laughs> conical roofs. Uh, that little cottage with the three conical thatched roofs belonged to a really famous English actress called Beryl Reed. Oh right! And she lived there for years and years and years and she used to adopt stray cats uh, until she died quite a few years ago, it was about 20 odd years ago I think yeah. she died. And I was trying to think what she was in and, and I went on Wikipedia and it's like hundreds of things. Hundreds and hundreds of TV programmes and movies and she did a lot of comedy too. Uh, but yeah, she lived in that lovely house. Between the busy towns of Windsor and Staines is the National Trust Jewel of Runnymede. Now, property prices around here are amongst the highest in the UK outside London, and the landscape around Coopers Hill and the Water Meadow is just stunning. Nestled between the trees on the lower slopes of the hill is the Magna Carta Memorial. Over 800 years ago, King John met with a group of barons here and sealed the Magna Carta. It's a document which is it's seen by many as the first step towards modern democracy as we know it. It's still cited by politicians and campaigners today, even though neither King John or the barons stuck to the original one back in 1215. Further up the hill, after climbing some pretty steep steps, is the JFK Memorial. It's set in an acre of land which was given to the United States by the Queen back in 1965. The memorial itself is a seven ton block of Portland stone and it commemorates the life of President John F. Kennedy after his assassination. Up on the top of the hill is the Commonwealth Air Forces Memorial and it's inscribed with the names of 20,456 men and women of the Allied Air Forces who lost their lives during the Second World War. This whole estate is just really spiritual and when I was walking back down to the bottom of the hill I found this place which it looks like one of the old pillbox lookouts from the Second World War. It's called the Ritz in Water and it's quite a new art installation. You can meditate or just enjoy the peace and reflection in there. When you walk in it's all dark but whichever way you go the corridor opens out into this central chamber where the light comes in from above and there's a pool of water which reflects a section of the Magna Carta. It reads, no free man shall be seized or imprisoned or stripped of his rights or possessions or outlawed or exiled or deprived of his standing in any way nor will we proceed with force against him or send others to do so except by the lawful judgment of his equals or by the law of the land.
One word you can't use to describe us is predictable. <laughs> One minute we're in Windsor, uh, then a few minutes later we're in Runnymede. Still sounds like something you need an antidiuretic tablet for. <laughs> Uh, and then the next minute we're in, well, in front of a blooming great palace. Beautiful. It is a really nice palace. <laughs> uh, it's Hampton Court Palace. We're about uh, 10 miles further downstream from Runnymede. Uh, but there's been no footage really, which is a bit weird. And there is an explanation. It's been a bad week. It has. It's had a bad week. I had a bit of a downer, to be honest. Uh, so I've been taking a few days off and we thought, Rather than all the work that goes into producing a vlog to go from uh, Runny Mead to here, we'll just enjoy a chilled cruise. Yeah. I hope you don't mind that we left you behind. <laughs> we did lay some buses on. You're going to have to run and catch up. <laughs> the other reason is that I do need a bit of a break because we have got something humongous. Well, that's not really humongous, is it? I've had bigger than that. But we there's something humongous on its way. I'm not going to tell you much. I will give you one clue double whammy does that mean anything to it you? it does to me you do not want to miss the double whammy next week's episode honestly it's set a reminder for four o'clock uk time <laughs> on youtube you do not want to miss it i promise you uh, but that's it for this one look at that I think we need to go have a walk around that. So write more in this. Uh, you know, we hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have and you're not already, please help the channel by subscribing. Hit the subscribe button. Then hit the thumbs up button and give the video a like. And if you hit the notification bell, YouTube will let you know every time we release a brand new video, which is four o'clock in the UK every Friday. Oh, do Never I need fails. to keep saying that? Do I, I need to change that a little bit, don't I? Well, they should know by now. I think they should know by now. Uh, <laughs> You've been around our gaff enough times to know that, haven't you? <laughs> if you'd like to help support the channel, it would be much appreciated. There's a join button on the homepage of our YouTube channel, or you can do it via Patreon. The link is up above Sean's head. Otis is fast asleep, by the way. That's yes, why, he is. That's, that's why, why he's not here. We just had a four and a half hour cruise, so he's fast asleep. Uh, and then when he wakes up, he's going to have his dinner. <laughs> a bit like you. I bet right. it is. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Ta-da. It was built back in the 11th century to protect us from the Normans. Wisdom. Well, I thought, let's see if we can have a laugh with the Normans, and I only found one famous Norman. Wisdom. Apart from Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl on Walking Dead, and he's not yeah. that famous. On our, on, on our starboard side. Uh, it's built back in the 8th. Ooh, look. Here he is again. Another one speeding past us. You really wanted to know that, didn't you? If Sean budgers this way a bit, you can just see, you'll sleep tonight knowing that. I will. This is only 89, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Uh, that weir, by the way, is by Lions Island. And... You forgot. There's no footage, there's no story, there's no GoPro back folder. No, no drone. No. I was waiting for that one to click. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>